again. Okay, this is another story from the Giants. And this story is called The Princess and the Giants. There we go. Who's that there? Well, it doesn't look like the princess, so they must be the giants. There we go. On the edge of a gloomy wood, three giants were eating their dinner. Ah, that's what they're doing. Eating their dinner. Fee, fi, fo. These giants were gigantic. They were eating meat as big as rocks. Big as rocks. Their spoons were like shovels and their forks were big enough to dig a garden. Good God. But someone was secretly watching them and who might that be? And there they are eating their dinner again. There we are. Um, who's watching them? Who's watching them? His name was Sam and he was a hunter. I am going to have some fun with those giants, he said. And taking aim, he fired his gun at the fork of the fattest giant. Oh, goodness. Sam's gun made the giant jump. He poked the fork into his chin. Ow, he yelled. Who did that? Just wait until I catch you, whoever you are. And Sam tried to hide, but he wasn't quick enough. And the giant spotted him. He jumped up and grabbed Sam. Ha, 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 now you're in trouble, boy, he roared. Oh, my gosh. Silly old Sam. Unless you help us, he added, we want that princess from the king's castle and you can go and get her. Ha, 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 squeaked Sam. He was terrified and as well he should be. Oh, well, we'll show you, the giant said and laughed. Do you think he's up for the job, said one of them. Well, there's no one else to help us, is there? Well, let's go then. And the giants picked up Sam and took him to the castle. Everyone is asleep, they told him. We put a spell on them, but the dog is still awake. You must shoot him. And they pushed Sam through a tiny window. Go look, there's Sam. And there's Sam with the dog. The castle dog trotted up to Sam, wagging his tail. He didn't bark once. He was a very friendly dog. Hello there, said Sam. What's your name? How can I shoot you? asked Sam, patting him. Sam decided he wasn't going to help the giants. I think I'll explore the castle instead, he said. And in one room, Sam found the princess. He thought she was beautiful. And he gazed at her for a long, long time. And then he tiptoed out. And there's the princess lying in bed fast asleep. And there's Sam looking through at her through the doorway. Next, he found a room with a sword hanging on the wall and there was a golden cup beside the sword with writing on it. Drink this and you will save the princess with the magic sword, read Sam. Sam was excited. Perhaps he could save the princess from those horrible giants. He tried a sip of the drink. Mmm, quite tasty. He drank some more and soon he'd finished it. Glug, glug. Glug, glug. There we are. Look at him drinking it and finishing it up. Now for the sword, said Sam. And he gave a big tug and it felt it move, but just a little bit. And he tried again. There we go. And then he got it. He pulled it out. This time it came out in a rush. Ha ha, said Sam. Now to get those giants. And downstairs, the giants were knocking at the door. Let us in, they bellowed. You're too big and the door's too small, said Sam. Never mind that, yelled the giants. Open this door now. Okay, said Sam, and he hid behind the door. There we go. 
Look at him hiding behind the door. And as the giants crawled in, he chopped off their heads. And the princess was saved. There he is. Oh, chopped off their heads. Yes. I think I'd want to chop on anyone's head off. But Sam began to worry. The king might not like people using his sword. He could be in very big trouble. So he ran away. And back in the castle, the giant's spell soon wore off. And the soldiers woke up and they stared at the dead giants. Could it really be true? Someone's killed the giants. The king, the king, fetch the king, fetch the king. And the king came along. And the castle buzzed with excitement. The giants were dead at last, but who had killed them? The king saw that his sword had gone too. It was a mystery, a big mystery. The princess was happiest of all. <gasps> she dreamed of the handsome hero who had saved her. And there she is. Oh, I'll marry him and we'll be so, so happy. But we don't know who he is, said the king. Please find him for me, daddy, she begged. So the king built an inn. A sign above the door read, anyone who tells his life story must stay here for free. And a year later, Sam passed by and he went inside and told his tale. It's the giant killer! Call the princess! The king was overjoyed to meet the man who'd killed the giants and his daughter was so excited she married Sam that very day. Welcome, son, said the king. Oh, it's so, I'm so happy for you to be part of my family. And everyone was invited to the weddings, except, of course, the giants. None of the other giants would have gone anyway. They were far too scared of Sam. And that is the end of that story. And they lived happily ever after. Sam and the princess. Sam the giant killer and the princess. And that's the end of the story. So off I go again. And I'll be back again another day. Lots of love. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Mwah.